in this exercise, we are going to write a currency converter. So the idea is that the user will provide a RAND value and then click on one of the three possible currencies and a message box will appear with the um, conversion shown. So we're going to change the form's name to FRM currency and the text property of the form to currency converter. So we have to first add a label to the form so that we can tell the user what we expect or what we want. So we're going to say, please enter the RAND value here. And I'm going to end this with an R. So that the R will just be next to the text box where the user will enter the text. So find the text box. So I place the text box right next to the R. So we say please enter the rank value here. Or you can be more specific. You can say please enter the rand value to convert here so then we just need to move the text box up a bit like that okay now we need the three radio buttons for the three different currencies but we're going to place them in a group box so I'm first going to add a glue box to the form and the glue box we move by using that little handle there in the corner okay, so we're just going to resize it and then I'm going to change the text property select a currency Now we're going to place the three radio buttons inside the group box. So I'm going to find the radio button. So there's one, two, three. I'm just going to align them a bit. Okay, and then I can resize the group box. Okay. So the first one will be the US dollar, so I change its text property to US dollars and then its name to red dollar. The second one I will call red pound and I will change its text property to Pound. The last one, I'm going to change its text property to Euro and its name property to RAD Euro. Okay, so now we have our blue box with the three radio buttons. And I'm just going to say save all. So the next step will be to write an event handler or maybe three event handlers that will do the conversion. So the user will be typing a value, a RAND value into the text box and then click on one of these three to make the message box appear with the correct conversion. So the event handlers we want to create are the click event handlers for the three radio buttons. Now, before we could double click on a control to open up the event handler. Here we're not going to do it that way. And the reason for that is if we double click 
on a radio button. It's not going to open the click event handle. It's going to open the checked changed event handle and we don't want to use that event handle here. We want to use the click event handle. So instead of double clicking on the radio buttons, just select the radio button, first one, and then in the properties window, click on the, the lightning bolt over there so that the all the possible event handlers are shown in the list. Then find the click event handler and double click on it. So here you can now see we've opened the red dollar click event. So what I want to do in here, I'm going to declare some variables. I first put in all the comments that will tell the story of my program. So, after declaring the variables, I will take the input that the user gave me and convert it to the dollar value. So, I'm going to here say do the conversion and then I'm going to say create output stream and Okay, so we're also going to declare a constant. So the constant value that we're going to declare is the exchange rate. So at the moment we're working with dollar, with the RAND to dollar exchange rate. So here I'm going to say const, so I'm declaring a constant, US exchange Rate. Remember we said we use capital letters for the constants and the exchange rate I'm going to use is 0 0.074 which was the exchange rate that um, I used in the slide as well. It might be different on this day. Oh, the reason why I have a red line there is I haven't specified the type and the type of this constant will be double. Then I'm going to declare a double variable brand value and a string for, for the output. I'm just going to call it output stream. Okay. So I've declared my variables. They have green lines under them, but don't worry, that's just because we haven't used them in our program yet. Okay, so next, I want to do the conversion. I want to take the value in the text box and multiply that by the exchange rate. The problem is that the value in the text box is a string and we want to work with a double value. So we have to convert the value that's in the text box to a double value first. And we're going to store that converted value in the variable rand value. So we say rand value is equal to convert to double and then text. It seems I didn't name my text box. Yep, I didn't rename my text box. It still says text box one. So I went, remember I was still busy with the um, events. So I just click on the spanner to make the properties available. Then I'm going to change the text box name to txt. Brand value. I can now, now I can now go back to my code, and now if I say txt, the rand value appears there. Dot text. Okay, so we say rand value. This is the variable rand value. Now gets the value. That is currently stored 
um, given in the text box by the user, um, but we have to convert it to a double first. Right, so now we can convert the value to the dollar value. Now I haven't declared a dollar value variable, so I'm going to add that dollar value. I just say comma dollar value because I already have a double there. Okay, so now I can say the dollar value is equal to the rand value multiplied by US exchange rate and the semicolon. Right. So I've now done the conversion. Now I want to create the output string that must appear in the message box. So I say output string is equal to ran plus text ran value dot text and then plus is worth and again plus and you just put the US dollar sign in front of the dollar value but here we must remember that dollar value is now a double variable and we are creating a string so we want to change this to a string first using convert to string and then we have the whole output string we begin so this is an assignment statement and to the right of the assignment statement we are building up a string consisting of some substrings so it starts with r followed by the rand value then the words is worth, and then the currency, um, the US dollars, and then the value, the dollar value that we have calculated. Okay, so now we've created our output string, so we want to show it in a message box. So the next statement is message box dot show. And the thing that we want to show is the output string in a semicolon. Okay, let's test our program and see what happens. So if I now say, um, suppose we want to say 100 or 1000 rand, it says 1000 rand is worth. 74 US dollars, which seems right. Okay, if we click on pound or euro, nothing will happen because we've only created the event handler for US dollars. So if we change this to 10,000, it tells us it's worth 740 US dollars. Okay, so now we're going to add the event handlers for pound and euro as well in a similar way. So we go to the form. Remember, we don't double click on pound. We just select it. Then we go to the list of event handlers in the property list. We find click, double click on it, and it opens RAM pound click. Now remember, we can copy and paste. So I just select the whole red dollar content and then say control C and I place the cursor in between the two curly brackets that sort of set the boundaries of the red red pound click event handler and I paste the code there but obviously now we don't want US exchange right there we want pound exchange right there and over here we want pound value. We can still have output string there. Over here we want pound value, pound exchange rate, and over here pound value. Okay, so we must. The constant value here, pound exchange rate, still contains 
the dollar exchange rate. So we have to go and change the constant value there to the actual pound exchange rate. And we're just going to put it at 0 0.062. So the only other mistake I can see here is that that still says US dollar in our output stream. So here we will say is worth, okay, we can change it around a bit. So we will say the rand value is worth so many plus pounds. Okay, so we've copied and pasted the event handler for the around to dollar exchange into this event handler but we had to go and change the the names of the variables so that we don't refer to dollars we refer to pounds and we had to go and change the constant value there but let's just make sure that i haven't made a mistake so if i now type in a thousand rands and i click on pound Okay, it says a thousand rand is worth 60 pounds. If I click on US dollars, it says a thousand rand is worth 74 US dollars. Okay, so we've created the event handlers for the red dollar click event or the red pound click event, and you can now go and see if you can write the event handler for the red euro click event it will look exactly the same but you will have to go find out what the exchange rate is the euro grand euro exchange rate and adapt the program accordingly